Welcome back to today's class. In today's class, we'll be looking at uh, some questions on gamma function. You can see this is about 10 questions on gamma function. Okay, so my students, we are going to solve all these questions today. Now, the first question says number one, we are asked to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity cot root of x exponential minus root x to the x okay look at the first question we are going to evaluate the question said uh, evaluate the integral from 0 to infinity of fourth root of x exponential minus x minus root x dx so we have to start the class how can we evaluate this what we have is that this function integral from 0 to infinity fourth root of x exponential minus root x dx can be written as integral from 0 to infinity of x raised to the power 1 over 4 exponential minus root x Okay. Now, from the general definition of a gamma function, we have that gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity exponential minus t t raised to power n minus 1 dt. Okay? You can level this one star for remembrance. Now, from this, we are going to compare this uh, general definition to the to the equation given to us, okay? We compare the exponential part. Anytime you are asked to evaluate any problem on gamma function, always concentrate on the exponential part. Now, if we compare the exponential part, we find out that there is exponential here, there is minus, there is minus. Comparing their powers, we now have that. You can say let t, which is this t, equals to this uh, root x. This implies that can square both sides, that x is equals to T square. Okay? Hope you are understanding what I'm doing. Now from here, we can decide to get our dx. The x now will now be equals to 2t dt. Are we together? Now, all these changes I made now, we are going to substitute it. Substitute these changes into the given expression. That is, we are going to substitute these changes to this uh, function. Now, if we do that, watch very well. We now have that. If we do that, what we have is, from here, we have integral 0 to infinity we are substituting any place you see x, you put it as what? t square, right? So we have, for x here, we have t square raised to the power 1 over 4, which is this. Exponential minus, we know that t is root x, dot dx. dx is a 2t dt. Okay? Now from here, we obey the power law of indices. This outside, inside power we multiply the outside power will give us integral 0 to infinity exponential can write exponential first exponential minus t which is this one then we write this one t raised to power 2 over 4 dot 2 t raised to power 1 dt this will give us 2 integral 0 to infinity I have moved this one to the back of the integral Exponential minus t, t raised to power, add the powers, this one is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 dt, okay? I'm adding the power of these uh, two functions. This will give us 2t, two, 2 integral, 0 to infinity, exponential minus t. I believe you understand what I'm doing. t raised to power, add these things, we will have in 3 over 2 
18. Okay. Now, for us to write this thing in terms of gamma, we are going to fall back to the definition again and compare this part to this part. Okay. Remember, the first time we compared the exponential to exponential, now we are going to compare this part to this part. So we now say from equation star, sorry, from this place, we have that t raised to power n minus 1 is equal to t raised to power 3 over 2. Okay? Comparing their powers, n minus 1 is equal to 3 over 2. This implies that n is equal to 3 over 2 plus 1. n equals to 5 over 2. Okay? So which means that the n you are looking for is 5 over what? 2. Therefore, all these functions we have solved can be written as 2 integral 0 to infinity exponential minus t t raised to power 5 over 2 minus 1 dt. Okay? That is, I have, I have written this in terms of uh, um, gamma n. So, therefore, this is equals to 2 gamma 5 over 2. Are we together? Which is equals to 2 dot 3 over 2 dot 1 over 2 dot gamma 1 over 2. And everybody know that this will pull up this. We have 3 over 2. Gamma this is root root 5. This is our answer. Okay? So anytime you are asked to solve this kind of problem, first of all, compare the exponential part to reduce your functions to gamma expression. Now from there you compare the algebraic part. Compare the powers to get the gamma you are looking for, which is gamma n. Now from here we can move to number two. Make a note of this, please. Now number two, number two said, evaluate the integral zero to infinity of root x exponential minus cube root of x dx, okay? So you don't have any problem, it's just the same process, okay? Just the same process, solution. So. We are going to define our gamma. First of all, we know that gamma n equals to integral 0 to infinity, exponential minus t, t is for n minus 1 dt. Okay? This is our definition of gamma. Now we are going to compare this exponential part to this part. Okay? If we do that, there is minus, there is minus, there is exponential, there is exponential. The only difference is t and 3 and cube root of 3. So we now say let t equals to cube root of cube root of x. Okay? This implies that x equals to t raised to power 3. Are we together? Now to differentiate, we have that the x equals to 3 t square dt. Are we together? Now we are now going to substitute back into the original expression. Original expression is this one. So I'm going to substitute all these changes in this function. So this implies that integral from 0 to infinity root x exponential minus cube root of x dx can now be written as, I can now write this in terms of t. Okay, so any place I see x, I write it as t cube. So this becomes integral 0 to infinity. This one is x here is t raised to power 3. Power raised to power 1 over 2. Remember, this square root means 1 over 2. Dot exponential minus t because t is equals to what? t equals to root x, okay? t 
t is equal to root x, so I have it like this. Then dot the x, the x is now 3t square dt. I go together. So from here, all we need to do is to evaluate this using indices. So this becomes integral 0 to infinity. I can push 3 to the back of the integration. Now this and this will add their powers. 0 is power 3 over 2 plus 2 over 1. This is for this and this. Exponential minus t dt. Okay? Now let's move to this side. From here, what we have is 3 integral 0 to infinity. Add this thing, this multiply this, times this multiply this. We give us we give us a uh, 0 is power 7 over 2 yeah dot exponential minus t dt okay so the LCM is 2 so you multiply you have a 7 over 2 now from here remember what I told you we want to write this in terms of gamma n so we are going to compare this algebraic part to the definition okay so we now say let n minus 1 which is this equals to 7 over 2 this implies that n equals to 7 over 2 plus 1 n equals to 9 over 2 okay so this implies that 3 integral from 0 to infinity of t raised to 7 over 2 exponential minus t dt can be written as 3 integral 0 to infinity exponential minus t first t raised to 9 over 2 minus 1 dt so this implies that this is 3 gamma 9 over 2 okay now from here you begin to break down gamma 9 over 2 this is equal to 3 dots remove 2 from there you have 7 over 2 remove 2 again you have 5 over 2 remove 2 again you have 3 over 2 remove 2 again you have 1 over 2 gamma 1 over 2 this is equals to 3 dot 7 over 2 dot 5 over 2 dot 3 over 2 dot 1 over 2 root 5 okay now from here if we evaluate this 1 2 3 4 will give us 16 so this will give us 3 1 5 over 16 root 5 so this becomes the answer to that particular problem okay now let's go to number 3 